Hey again, guys. I <clears throat> wanted to shoot another quick video, uh, just encouraging you to create a visual tracker. So a uh, big thing that helped Katie to see progress because I could see the balance of my student loans every day when I was checking them. I was <laughs> uh, very consistent in checking them every day to see, oh, okay, that payment went through. Okay, the balance went down a little bit, a little bit less interest is being charged. And that helped me have a sense of progress. But she mentioned to me, I feel like I'm just throwing money out the window because I don't see where that money is going. So I created a visual tracker and put it on the fridge uh, for the debt snowball, which uh, at the time only had New Brunswick student loan left and uh, OSAP. Um, we did have the car, but we knocked that out finally with a tax return. So uh, I wasn't throwing extra every month at that. And uh, so we didn't have a visual tracker for that part. But just that motivation of seeing your goal in front of you is so awesome. Uh, so I've done that since uh, with all my other goals. So uh, just to give you a few examples, um, I'm trying to read at least 30 books this year, which I'm doing awesome at that goal. Um, trying to write 150 pages. <laughs> I'm way behind on that goal, but seeing it in front of me is keeping me accountable. And I've started to write about becoming debt free. I was trying to write some fiction and uh, really having a hard time coming up with something that I thought was any good. So um, I've changed directions on that and I'm starting to write about personal finance because obviously that's kind of a big deal for me. Uh, <laughs> thus me shooting videos. <laughs> uh, so another goal is to run 500 miles and to bench my body weight this year. So I am behind on both of those a bit. Uh, Running, I am catching up with that one, which is good. Uh, I'm, I've am i started running a lot more recently, and uh, part of the motivation for that was when we passed the halfway point for the year, I was under 200 kilometers, or kilometers, miles. That's harder. Uh, I was under 200 miles that I'd run this year, and I knew that I had to be at least at 250 to, to be on par to reach my goal. So that has motivated me to... I don't know, say hit 300 by the time the school year hits again. So I've really, it's helped me up my game with that. Uh, benching body weight, I was benching uh, 180 in April and then I wasn't going to the gym. Part of cutting expenses is uh, I cut out gym membership. But I, since we've become debt free, I've started paying that 10 bucks a month again. Um, and yeah, we're getting back on track with that. I'm not quite up to 180 yet, but... I will get there. Okay, and see, this is our new financial goals. So GOK fund, that's <laughs> my slang for God only knows fund. That's the, our emergency fund. So we're starting to build that up in spite of uh, decreased income over the summer. And uh, then it will be baby step 3B, which is our house down payment. And also on the side, I am starting to save for uh, car replacement. So we've got 700 in there saving towards that goal because you never know when the car is going to conk out on you. I mean, this car has been faithful <laughs> since we had some repairs done while it was still under warranty, which is good. And then we sunk a bunch of money into it at the beginning of the summer. And hopefully, uh, I don't know, that'll take care of it for a while. So <laughs> anyway, that's just to encourage you guys, whatever goal it is, break it down into smaller steps, small increments that you can track, uh, and that will help keep you on track to reach it by your desired date. So what goals do you have? Uh, please post them below in the comments. I would love to interact with you guys and, uh, I don't know, gain inspiration from the progress that you're seeing or help to give you some motivation to get on track with your goals. So, uh... Anyway, it's been a pleasure. As always, like, comment, subscribe, please. God bless. Have a great one.